how to use mind map in ClickUp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the mind maps on a ClickUp. So we are going to head over to ClickUp.com and then we're going to sign in for our account. So as you can see, we're going to have in here the specific uh, dashboard of the ClickUp. Now what can we do from here is basically here to have everything. So we are going to head over here and we can see some of the spaces that we have. So I'm going maybe to create another space or a new space and it is going to be uh, here idea space, for example, space. We're going to create it. So uh, a space, maybe a space dedicated for ideas. And we are going to click on continue. So we are going to have, as you can see here, the workflows, either it is going to be starters, uh, project management, product engineering, and etc. So what I am going to do basically is to have the specific project as maybe default. So I can ho go ahead and have here whatever I want from the activities, the calendar. Uh, I can go ahead and have a timeline, for example, and also I can go ahead and add my mind map. So I'm going to have these. So I have added the mind map, which is the most important thing in here. And we're going to click on create space. So basically, if you have already a space, you can go ahead and click on it and add a view. And this view is going to be commended as a mind map. So this is our space. I haven't added anything to it yet. So I'm going to head over the views, which is going to be at the header in here, click on mind map. And here we have the mind map. Either it is going to be a, a specific, let's say here, a blank mind map or a task created mind map. So this is going to be for the visual representation of existing folders, lists and tasks. If you have set up the lists and also the um, tasks for you. And you can go ahead and click on blank if you are going to make it for you. So here, as you can see, we have the first thing, which is going to be the uh, root node. So this is the scratch. So I'm going to have maybe uh, here something called pro, uh, or uh, YouTube, for example, YouTube. This is going to be the first node. Now I can go ahead and uh, color up this, uh, the borders of the node just like that. So if it is uh, going to be uh, something like this, so I can go ahead and have it uh, as a color or give it a color. So like that, I'm going to give it this color. Now I can go ahead and create a task for it. So maybe you're going to have a task created within the space of the ideas. So I'm going to have here a new list created a tasks for YouTube and we're going to click on create. So this is the created or create field. Now I can go ahead and head over here, task for YouTube and I can see it right there. So what I can add for this field, maybe a task, maybe something. So I can go ahead and head over here. So we are going to create a task and this task is going to be maybe uh, create uh, content like that content for YouTube and you are going to click on create. So this is going to be the task. When you're going to head over here, you're going to see the task for it. Now, aside from that, we are on the mind map. You can go ahead and click on create the task. Now we're going to have here another node, which is going to be maybe a, a video production pro production. Just like this. We have here, as you can see, the video production. We can go ahead and uh, uh, select the task and take it, for example, from here. This is the first step. We can go ahead and add a subtask for it or another task for it, which is going to be, as an example, audio, for example, production. Maybe like that. This is it. And I can go ahead and add another subtask, which is going to be created as, uh, let's say here, a management of the um, channel. So here we have it. 
now what can i do is basically to have them added just like that so this is as you can see the specific uh, nodes that i have created now i can go ahead and add another node which is going to be uh, having the plus from the um, here production so we are going to have video editing like that and we're going to have it just like this so i'm going to make uh, the map in here so basically i can have also here added another node so it is going to be that simple for the coloration of the nodes it is going to colorate the path so here you can see that if i am going to change the color to something else it is going to be changed in here so just like that i'm going to have it just like this now uh, i can go ahead and add a uh, different uh, type of specific nodes in here so i'm going to add not for that one but maybe for uh, this one so i can go ahead and have another node for uh, here we have um, I think that I have made a mistake for this node. It is not going to be for the um, audio production. But on the video production, we have here editing, editing, or like that. We're going to have it as editing. And then we're going to have a thumbnail, maybe thumbnail creation. And we can go ahead and have, an, have another node, which is going to be uh, uploading video so we are going to have it just like that now for the audio production i can go ahead and add a, another node and some sub notes on them so like here um noise canceling so we are going to have another sub node which is going to be related to audio like here filtering and the final one is going to be uploading uploading video uh, audio maybe like that and the management is going to be here a uh, scheduling scheduling of the uh, uh, videos and we can have another subtask for it which is maybe going to be uh, channel uh, statistics or stat or um here reviewing reviewing stats and final one is going to be let's say here viewing the stats and programming or keyword keyword uh searching so we're going to have it just like that as you can see this is the mind map and uh, we have created it for different reasons so from a node we have another node to sub nodes and etc so this is how simple it is to create a mind map so you can go ahead and have yours i'm going to de-zoom in uh, or zoom out a little bit you're going to have this and that added to this one maybe this is going to be um, on the aesthetic side like that and this one is going to be like this so this is like in the middle this is at the end and boom now what can i do basically is to maybe change the color of them so i'm going to have here different nodes with different colors so i can go ahead and differentiate the tasks in here or the readers are going to be differentiating the tasks so it is crucial to uh, distinguish the task with this pink maybe this one is going to be blue and we're going to have them as this so we can go go ahead and unify the colors and you can go ahead and put it as much as you want so let's say this is brown and that one is going to be um, the blue so we can go ahead and add different um here subtask or add task for the specific one so as you can see i can go ahead and create a task from the list and then you're going to have it just right there so i can go ahead and have the task and then you can go ahead and click on here so the person um, and then you're going to have just like this so i can go ahead and create a task 
and normally it is going to be added just like that so please let me create a task in the project this one i can go ahead and have content for youtube or uh, here for example like that and i can go ahead and set up the priority for example for normal the due date you are going to have it for example like that and the timeline type in time for example one so when you are going to have this one hour you are going to have here please type any task a uh, type a task name so what is the task in here so i do not have a task exactly but doesn't matter a lot custom fields and it is going to be just like that content name it doesn't matter a lot so that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one